On the 21st of July 2021, the IOC, International Olympic Committee, announced the host of the 2032 Summer Olympics to be Brisbane, the third largest city in Australia and the third hosting of the Games after Melbourne in 1965 and Sydney in 2000. That was the day just before the opening of the 2021 Tokyo Olympics in Japan. Why the IOC chooses Brisbane? Maybe Australians have credentials. The best ever Olympics is the one in Sydney 2000. They also helped China to bid and host the 2008 Beijing Olympics. They are creative. They are intelligent. Moreover, being at the Southern Hemisphere, it is winter time. The July to August climate in Brisbane is generally dry and mild with mean temperatures between 11 to 21 degrees centigrade. That is a good weather for athletes. Apart from experiences in hosting large-scale international events, there are many excellent existing venues and there are strong supports from government and private sector. More importantly, it is about sustainability, venue reuse and economic stability. The focus on sustainability and reuse is designed to bring the costs for hosting the Olympics down. White elephants from the Olympics have not been uncommon. Swimming and golf facilities were among those abandoned after the 2016 Summer Games in Rio de Janeiro. While Olympic Village housing that had been converted to condominiums remains on the market. A baseball stadium from the 2004 Athens Olympics has fallen into disrepair. Larger venues risk turning into financial albatrosses when their post-games use is misgaged. Demolition would be eventual. Focusing on reusing existing venues, refurbishing existing sites and using temporary venues where possible. The proposed costs of Brisbane 2032 Olympics are the lowest in recent times. At around 4,508 million of Australian dollar. Still, why award the right so early? There may be many reasons. But one of the reasons is that many cities had big losses due to out-of-control costs during rivalry bidding process in a tight time frame. Anyhow, the more interesting question is how the already lovely Brisbane city will evolve in the next decade. In the meantime, let us view what Brisbane was and is now. Why is the city called Brisbane? The name Brisbane is named to honor Sir Thomas Brisbane in 1834 to replace its penal colony status. Famously, Australia was a place for convicts from Britain in the 18th century. Major General Sir Thomas MacDougall Brisbane was a British Army officer, administrator and astronomer. He was appointed Governor of New South Wales from 1821 to 1825. In 1823 Thomas Brisbane sent Lieutenant John Oxley to find a new site for convicts who were repeat offenders. Oxley discovered a large river flowing into Moreton Bay. Oxley suggested that both the river and the settlement be named after Brisbane. 
So, originally the colony, around Brisbane area, was established as a prison within a prison, a settlement, deliberately distant from Sydney to which recidivist convicts could be sent as punishment. In short, if a person committed a crime in England, the person would be exiled 9,400 miles away to Sydney of Australia as punishment. Should the person commit crime in Sydney again, the person would be sent even further 570 miles away to Brisbane. Will this part of Brisbane's history be mentioned in the 2032 Olympics opening ceremony? Should you visit Brisbane in the Olympics in 2032? You may still be able to visit the Museum of Royal Historical Society of Queensland which is just 1.7 kilometers from the center of Brisbane. In there, you can find out more about that part of Brisbane's history. The next video. The Queen's Wharf Project. The imminent changes of Brisbane.